Earlier this month, Councilmember Mary Che asked you to examine whether the city's plans to open an all-boys public school for boys of color passes legal muster. What's the measuring stick you intend to use when you look at that? Her concern, of course, is that we might be in violation of Title IX of the Civil Rights Act because we're not doing anything similar for girls in general or girls of color in particular. Sure. Uh, indeed, uh, Councilwoman Che uh, sent a request over uh, to have the Office of Attorney General review uh, the propriety and legality of the, uh, uh, I think, daring and bold uh, proposal uh, that the uh, Chancellor and, and Mayor has uh, have put forward and supported. I, our office is conducting that review. Um, you know, we're not done yet, uh, but I must tell you, uh, I think that even under the moderate or high-level uh, strict scrutiny, uh, there's every reason uh, to uh, to do uh, what uh, government uh, needs to do when there are problems, and that is to devote specific resources uh, and methods that uh, would ameliorate those problems. And here, what we're talking about are core issues of education that uh, you know negatively impact uh, African American boys and brown boys and uh, and and minority uh, men. We should be able to find a way within the Constitution uh, to, uh, to elevate uh, the performance uh, of those, uh, those young boys without uh, prejudicing the rights of others. And and what I you're suggesting is that you're looking for a way that we can do this. I'm confident that we'll be able to find a way uh, to be consistent me, with the law. I spoke to